David Wozniak, you are the biological father of 533 children. It is impossible to be the father of 533 children. It is impossible to be the father of four children. Right. David sets off to meet some of these kids and slowly realizes that he does feel a connection between him and these kids. And they need a guardian angel. They need someone to look out for them. Action! David kind of goes into all their lives at these early stages of becoming young adults, and it's very powerful. As a uh, father myself, I think by actually playing it out with different kids from different backgrounds, you sort of explore what are the thoughts that run through all parents' minds, both the good things and the worries. Hey, come on, buddy. What are you doing? You never see a girl before? To see someone play out so many different variations on that is very interesting. Yeah! You feel that? He kind of goes on a quest by contacting some of his children, not as himself, not as their father, but as an outsider and sort of a, a guardian angel in, in a way. <laughs> and he comes into their life and tries to do something good. And he gets to have like these fatherly moments with all of his kids. I have all called the Morris Jumel Mansion home. Nice! Exciting! Vince's character slowly starts to take part in their lives and trying in different and various ways affecting positive change in, in these kids' lives. Mm. Dribble, dribble, you gotta dribble, you gotta... Why doesn't it dribble? This could be the most beautiful thing that ever happened to me. For me, it was an exploration of fatherhood and what fatherhood can be. You don't have the skills to bring up a child. It's not a movie that says, if you're a father, you should be this way. Oh! but it's more a playful exploration of different emotions that you can have if you're a father. In my life, I have a tendency to make very bad decisions. Tell me that I haven't just made another wrong decision. You haven't. Underneath it all, I think the movie really is about family and about finding your way. But I think there's an underlying optimism and warmth and love to the film that's very powerful. For the first time in my life, I think I'm doing the right thing. When you're looking out for these kids, would you be wearing any kind of cape? I didn't say superhero, I said guardian angel. Carry on.